State of Michigan, the design winner this year is Global Formula. Not to be undersold, Carl Drew is second place this year in design. Open up, so we got a little bit of room to work. Well, here we've got another another gorgeous car. Um, again, with the car, everything got its place, nice, tidy. Got those home in different iterations. They must have gone through to get to find a nice home for everything. Um, everything looks like it belongs where it is, and. Uh, you know, that, that, that's for good reason. So, yeah, a lot of thought and a lot of effort went into the overall layout and uh, concepting of this car and uh, you know, this is um, the uh, car started off with a very good understanding of the prior uh, test, test data, um, the prior test consortium. Um, you know, based on that, uh, on that understanding, uh, they you know, designed the suspension to basically optimize the uh, the, the, the tire contact patch in order to maximize grip. Um, there was some effort, you know, again, looking at the compliance effects. Uh, again, I, you know, we're, right, we're at the stage where the kinematics aren't quite enough. You need to also consider the compliance effects. Uh, you push on anything, it's going to move. Maybe by a little bit, maybe by a lot, but you need to know. You need to know how much and what the net effects are afterwards. Um, they, uh, they actually set, set, uh, set camera stiffness targets. Um, then they measure to follow up to make sure they actually achieve it. Um, again, this is the kind of thing, this is the, the level of detail that uh, if you want to compete this level, they, you, you have to do. Um, as they're designing their uh, the chassis, uh, they, they took a considerable amount of effort to uh, actually do some fatigue, protect, uh, fatigue uh, uh, predictions. Uh, this is another item where a number of teams and, uh, you know, they, they, do the, they do the basic stiffness, they do the basic strength, but they, they leave off some of the fatigue, uh, fatigue aspects. Uh, it is a lot more work, um, but it's important. You know, if you want a car that's going to live and uh, you know, be truly optimized for, for mass and, uh, and life, you have to do it. Um, and uh, so, you know, so kudos to them for, for, for making that extra exit. Um, they, uh, they also had a, uh, an excellent electrical system, uh, dual, dual board-based system, and uh, they went so far as to actually walk through and do a full failure mode and effects analysis to, uh, to, to know the failure modes of their electronic system and uh, work through and uh, have, you know, have plans for uh, rectifying issues as they, as they rose and uh, you know, alleviate the uh, you know, low-hanging fruit. Um, they had one of the, uh, the better damper development plans, um, you know, really based on a very, very strong basic understanding, um, you know, fundamental knowledge of how dampers work. Um, they know how dampers work, they know how to tune them, um, and uh, you know, make them work, you know, basically make them uh, do their job, and uh, that shows based on the track performance. The uh, FDA analysis that they conducted was the optimization of the structure was, uh, was exceptional. Um, they had a good understanding of how to build a, uh, an accurate model, and uh, then again, not only did they, did they, did they do extensive uh, simulation work and modeling, but they also backed it up with some uh, physical testing as well. I can't stress enough the importance for um, you know, correlating your models and uh, you know, ensuring early on that your models are accurate enough such that as you start to iterate and, and work through your design process that you know, you, you know you're heading in the right direction. Um, starting off with a bad model is, uh, is, is, is always a bad thing, you know, garbage in, garbage out kind of scenario. So let's start off with something good and, uh, and, and keep iterating until you have something that's uh, really going uh, to you. And now I'll pass it over to Steve for the property. Thank you, Steve. I'd like to say I was a little bit surprised at the performance of this car, but after I went back and thought about it a little bit, I'm really not surprised. This team just keeps getting better and better every year I see them. Um, they set fast time and endurance today, fastest lap. Um, they're to be applauded for that. Great job in endurance.
you don't cut a fast time in endurance without a really strong powertrain working in really good cooperation with the rest of the car, suspension, chassis, everything. It, it's a total package, but you still have to have horsepower to drive you there. Their cooling system was well simulated. Uh, they explained their cooling system in detail to the design judges, and uh, they were really impressed. The design judges were really impressed with that. Lots of simulation. They did uh, a fair amount of internal engine work on this Honda CDR 600 engine, and uh, it's, it's really well packaged. They've got uh, cans, uh, a new sump for the oil sump, and uh, they've reworked the transmission as well. It, uh, this kind of work just doesn't come cheap. You, you spend a lot of resources doing it, and you invest, you invest a lot of time and effort in it, and it pays dividends. They have lots of experimental data that they tried and ruled out a lot of different things that didn't work. So they not only concentrated on what they thought was the best, but they went down some different avenues and discovered what really doesn't work best. So sometimes you get lucky and you get it right the first time, but if you don't, you just you keep building on it. They had a real emphasis on durability, and it paid off. The car, you know, you, you look at the car and it just has the right look to it. It's well packaged. It's the right size. They, uh, they did lap simulation in order to develop the engine, and they knew that when they put this engine in the car, it was very well developed. It wasn't just a mistake that it ended up this way. They have actually have strain data that was really good. Um, the judges enjoyed talking to about that, and really, when it all comes down to it, the engine and drivetrain package was just well sorted. They spent a lot of time in testing. Um, you get the car on the ground early enough that allows you to do that, and it pays big dividends. And you end up with a result a lot like this. The electronics judges were really impressed with uh, the custom designed PDM and dash and data system. Um, all the controls were well marked. Easy, simple layout. Again, reducing the workload of the driver. As far as the ergonomics goes, they had a variety of different steering wheels that they could put on the car, which uh, was suitable for different uh, size drivers. They have a uh, very comfy seat. Um, both of our ergo judges really like the seat. And uh, the pedal and heel support were adjustable, easily adjustable. And they have uh, kind of a two-part thing going on with their seat where the shoulder support is custom moldable, and they have different shoulder supports based on uh, the size of the driver. So all in all, uh, really great effort for Carl Drew, your number two design winner for the SA Michigan. Thank you.